this video is a follow-up to the aero freestyle video we did last time, where I swam a smooth 100 meters in 105. If you haven't seen that video, I recommend watching that one first. I made this video because some people don't have a way of practicing the exercises outlined on the video in the swimming pool. This is also for people who lack coordination, strength or mobility and are more comfortable working on those things outside the water. Just keep in mind that the best way to practice a new technique will always be to actually swim. Before we go to the routine, I just want to announce that we have opened the spots for our San Diego swimming camp in February of 2020. To find out more, go to the link in the description. You can think of this routine as a buffet of exercises. You can pick and choose which exercises to do. To warm up the shoulders, grab the PVC pipe at shoulder width and do 10 ups and downs. Then grab it wider and go back further when your arms are up. Go all the way back if you can and do 10 of these. Then rotate to one side 10 times, then 10 times to the other. Then do 10 to 20 good mornings, bending the knees just a little and keeping your back straight. Then do 10 overhead squats. These are great for overall warm up and mobility check. Then without the broomstick or the PVC pipe, do this movement. Touch your toes and then bend your knees into a deep squat. Then put one hand on the floor and reach to the sky with the other. Then change hands and do it again six times. Then we will do a similar movement but with a lunge instead of a squat. This is great to warm up your joints, back muscles, hip flexors and a lot of secondary muscles too. Muscle memory. Let's build some muscle memory with the following exercises that resemble the aero freestyle movements. Swiss ball, one kick per stroke. If you want to practice the movement of one kick per stroke without the distraction of being in the water, here's an exercise you can do. Remember to have a high elbow while you do this. You will work on your horizontal balance as well as your coordination, which is very important. Do six strokes each alternating sides every time for a total of 12 repetitions. Rest 20 to 30 seconds between each set. Do three sets of these. One kick per stroke hollow rock. This exercise is very similar and can work if you don't have a Swiss ball. Always try to keep your lower back on the floor. This will help you do small kicks because the floor will prevent you from going further. Do 20 total repetitions of this exercise. So 10 with each side. Do two sets of this. Back up one kick per stroke. I found this exercise to be the most similar thing you can do to a narrow stroke but on dry line. It helps with your coordination, your horizontal balance, rotational balance and core strength. Keep only your abdomen on the floor by doing a superman position. Now do a kick and half a stroke while you rotate to the opposite side. Alternate to the other side with the other arm and leg. Try to do a quick short kick. If possible, try to keep your head looking down. Do this exercise for 4 sets of 6 repetitions. Bench pull. If you have trouble doing a high elbow pull, try doing this exercise carefully as this is not a very natural movement and can be dangerous for some people. If you don't want to risk it, you can alternatively do the next exercise. They will both help you create muscle memory and build strength on those essential muscles needed to pull hard. Muscles like the pec minor and lats. Do this exercise for 3 sets of 3 reps. Swiss ball, high elbow. If you're using a Swiss ball, try to push down a little as well as back so that it creates more friction with the floor and becomes more of a challenge. Core. Now that you have created some muscle memory for our arrow freestyle movements, let's build strength and endurance for the most important muscles of swimming. The core. Swiss ball kicks. This seems to be a leg exercise and you do work the legs a little bit, but the real challenge is on the core. Try to keep yourself horizontal and do small quick kicks. Do this for 30 seconds 3 times. Swiss ball plank, lift one hand. 
This exercise looks easier than it is, but it requires a fair amount of balance and core strength. To do it properly, try to keep your hips still. Lift one arm at a time, keeping your balance. Do this four sets of 20 repetitions total. Holo rock progression. The goal is to hold this holo rock position for a minute. But if you can't, try to do this progression. First, do a sit up hold position for 30 seconds. The next phase would be to do it with your legs extended. And if that becomes too easy, do a full holo rock. And if that becomes easy, do a rocking holo rock. Always try to keep your lower back on the floor. Supermans. This is a straightforward exercise. It works on the lower back muscles and the glutes. You can do it with your arms on superman position or in a streamline. While you go up, hold it for 2 seconds and then go back down. Do this exercise for 4 rounds of 20 reps. Strength. Now we will do key strength exercises that will help you pull water faster and more effectively. Eccentric pull-ups. This variation of pull-ups is very useful to create more strength in the biceps, lats, and shoulders, among other secondary muscles. To do eccentric pull-ups, just go down as slowly as you can, keeping a tight core. Do 4 sets of 8 reps. Handstand. This is an excellent exercise for your shoulders. Hold this position for 15 seconds 3 times. If this becomes easy, you can start doing handstand push-ups. What I personally do is handstand walk, because it's more fun and you can work on your balance. But I cannot recommend it here, since it is risky and it requires a lot of practice with help to get it right. Incline rows. This exercise, if it is done right, has a lot of potential to build your lats. Make sure your back is straight and that it doesn't move while you do this exercise. Now, do the rows slowly with a weight that is just what you can handle for 8 reps. Do 3 sets with each arm. Incline twisted push-ups. Another important group of muscles are the pecs. To work the lower pecs, which you will use on the last part of the pool, do this. It's just like push-ups but incline on a bench and with a twist to get maximum results. Do these until failure twice. Dips. The dips are great for the same group of muscles as the previous exercise, but you will also work on the triceps. This is also great for the last part of the pool. I'll leave a link in the description on an excellent video about dips from Athlinex. Do 3 rounds of 5 to 10 dips. Rotator cuff external rotation. Because we swimmers tend to develop more of our front upper body muscles compared to our back scapular muscles, we also need to do what is often thought of prehab exercises. Do this movement with a stretch band or with a dumbbell on a bench. Do 2 rounds of 20 reps. Mobility. As you saw in our previous video, you can improve the internal rotation mobility of the shoulder with this stretch, or you can also do this on the floor. Be careful to do it slowly. It's better to do it daily than to force it one day. Hold it for 20 to 30 seconds, slowly pushing down if you can. Do each arm twice. Alternatively, you can also do this stretch to improve the mobility of the shoulder. Grab a towel with both hands behind you. Then, with the arm that is above, Pull the towel up, stretching the opposite shoulder carefully. This stretch is one of my favorites. This muscle always gets tight for me, and my shoulder and the side of my neck start hurting. This usually fixes it. First, put your elbow on a 90 degree bend, and then put it on the wall slightly above the shoulder. Then, move your body forward. Just make sure that your back is straight and that you don't have 
an interior pelvic tilt like this. Hold this position for 30 seconds twice with each arm. To stretch the pec further, grab a PVC pipe and lay on the bench. Then, grabbing it wider than shoulder width, let your arms drop down overhead like this. Hold that stretch for 30 seconds. Or, if you don't have a PVC pipe, you can do this stretch on a bench or a wall. To stretch the shoulder and the lats, do this stretch. Hold your elbow with your other hand for 30 seconds with each arm. Another way you can improve your shoulders mobility is by doing this. Put both of your hands behind you and try to bring your elbows together. If that's too easy, you can go to a squat position and use your knees to help you. Hold that position for 20 to 30 seconds. If you want to stretch the lats and triceps further, you can hold again a PVC pipe and put the elbows on a bench while you let your head and torso drop. To finish stretching, do this hip flexor stretch. This is always a good stretch if you tend to sit down for long hours every day and it helps you keep your legs up while you're swimming freestyle. If you want to download a PDF with all the buffet of exercises with pictures, you can do so through the link in the description. A lot of you have asked important questions on the Arrow Freestyle video, so I will do a Q&A video about that next. While we're working hard to bring you another detailed explanation of another way of swimming freestyle. This video was sponsored by our best-selling swim cap, the Freestyle Swim Cap. You can get yours by clicking here. And if you want to watch another video, click here. See you there, swim fast.